like a true dumbass New Yorker. <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> What is going on, guys? This is Lewis, aka Kuma, trying to film my gaming peoples, and we are here in the mule. So, without further ado, uh, here's the video entirely, and then we're gonna talk about it. I mean, her teacher, like, you know, like, wouldn't let me pass, bro? Like, seriously, like, have a, you know, like a freaking brain, man. I am not gonna go in front of you, bro. Jesus Christ. Okay, so you guys clearly saw that this guy just sideswiped me and then <laughs> he just straight up blamed me for it. So here what happened. I, I just finished dropping off a passenger in Park Avenue South. I pulled over so I could check out the if it's surging or not, I think it was. And Uber wasn't the surging, so I stayed on Uber. And then I clearly put my directionals, you know, to get back on the lane. And then as soon as the light changes, the Honda that was next to me and behind me, mind you, sped up <laughs> so I don't get back into the lane. And so he can make me wait until he passes like a true dumbass New Yorker, <laughs> like seriously. So then this guy, so then I had a chance to go around him and there was a cop on the other lane and he even sounded his horn because, you know, he thought that I wasn't seeing him and I was going to go into his lane and do an unlawful turn. And then here comes the yellow cat. The first thing he does, like a true guilty person, is honk his horn. And then we pull over, then I go to his car, which I shouldn't have, you know, because that I tends to escalate things. And the first thing he says is that I was on the phone and that I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see the expression in my face uh, on the video, but I was dumbfounded. Like, how in the world is he saying that I was in my phone? So then he started talking more stuff. I can't remember like what you know he was saying, and then I couldn't resist like the things that he was saying. Just like wow. So then I pointed you know to the camera, you know, so I could shut him up. And then <laughs> he a hundred percent did a. A 360 change right there. You know, he went from a, a roaring lion and, and and being sure, you know, that I was on the phone and, uh, and that I was wrong to being sneaky and, you know, things happen and then he wanted to get back to his car and then close the door and, and then he didn't want to talk because he knew I had a dash cam and it was over. Uh, from there, then I go and see the damage on my car and then I see that it's just paint. So I'm like... So let me go 
back to his car, and then I offer him, okay, just give me twenty dollars, so I can take it to a shop, and they buff that out, or I call the insurance and let them take care of it. So then he says, oh, just go to the taxi shop, and they'll take care of it for free. I'll take a picture of, of my ID, and they'll take care of you. So then I did. I'm like, you know what? You know, like in my head, I'm thinking this guy is old. This guy, you know, probably has a family. He's a cab just like me. And if I call the cops on this guy, and it's probably going to be two to three hours that we both going to lose of work. So I'm like, you know what? He may have. And then he, he has one leg on top of that. So I'm like, holy moly. <laughs> this guy I only has one leg and, and driving a yellow cab. So I'm like, you know what? Just, yeah, whatever. Let me just take it. And then I was like, okay, yeah. You know, I go to the taxi shop and I show him your ID, whatever. And I'm thinking, I don't think I want them to fix my car. They always do like a bougie job. So you know what? Like a true YouTuber, I'm like, you know what? I think I'll make more content better. You know, I'll just buy a buffing machine and I learn how to buff and I take this out and I, and I can use this as more content, like from my channel. So I'm like, yeah, I think I'll do that better <laughs> than let this guy uh, try to fix my car and do like a really bad job on it, you know? So moral of the story is uh, a place like NYC, which have so many like different people, so many different cultures, it's, it's very important to stay neutral. Um, but this is where things like road rage happen and fights and murders and court cases and jail times, you know, always happen. I know it's extremely hard, you know, to stay cool and, uh, you know, to be the bigger man when you're clear dealing with like dumbass people and people that are just pure evil, you know, pure cane descendants. But we must do good in this world because good will eventually come back to us. And let those people do evil because evil will, will come back to them and the blessings will go to you. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you like this video, just give me a thumbs up. But if you're new, just give that uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss none of my projects. Uh, I was hoping to do a video of doing a PDR treatment on the G. It said it was going to rain on Saturday and it turned out that it didn't really rain on Saturday. So I lost the entire Saturday because I thought it was going to rain and I didn't do anything. And yeah, so anyway, I hope next Saturday I get to bring uh, another uh, Infinity content. I hope you guys stay, uh, stay tuned for that. So until next time, this is Luis, aka Kumatata out. Peace. <laughs>